It was a nail biter of a home opener for the Fresno State football team on Saturday. They welcomed Minnesota to Bulldog Stadium, but couldn't quite get the W, losing to the Gophers 38 to 35. Here now to let us know what's next for the team and what they need to do to rebound. We welcome Sports Central's Scott Venus. Well, Welcome. thanks for having me. Yeah, this is fun. Well, about the game over the weekend, kind of, what's the little play-by-play -play if people missed the game? Well, this is fun, but it wasn't fun for the Fresno State football team. It looked like it was going to be a joyous night out there Ugh. at Bulldog Stadium. Um, just a, another heartbreaking loss. Unfortunately, we're two weeks in, and the Bulldogs have suffered heartbreaking losses in both week one at USC and then um, Saturday night against Minnesota. Uh, the game went to double overtime. The Bulldogs had a chance to win the game. Um, if they could have scored a touchdown on their drive in the double overtime, um, they would have pulled out a win over a Big Ten team, which would have been a nice little uh, you know, feather in the cap of, of the Bulldog program. But unfortunately, uh, came up. Just, just a little short. What, what were some of the negatives and positives that this team did? Because they're, they're kind of new, you said, with the new people on the team. Yeah, a lot of newcomers on this year's Fresno State football team. And so, mm -hmm. you know, being 0-2, I think uh, a lot of fans in the Valley might just see the headlines and see that, uh, you know, they oh, lost no. week one, lost week two, and yeah. may, may start to press the panic button. But I think there's still a lot of positives around this football team right now. Okay. Um, I think some of those that, that happened on Saturday night, some of these new guys are, are, are really performing well. On offense, they have a bunch of new receivers who are, who are stepping up. Um, the biggest storyline, of course, is, is new quarterback Jorge Reyna. Um, it's been a mixed bag for him um, through the first two weeks. Um, he's had some really nice moments. Um, you know, he actually played pretty well on Saturday uh, against Minnesota, completed near, uh, over two thirds of his passes, and um, you know they picked up a bunch of big plays as well. Unfortunately, the one that everybody's going to remember. Oh, it's always <laughs> was, the one. Yeah, was he threw the the big Big interception in the end zone um, at the end of the game, but he's a senior. He is a gritty kid. Um, mm -hmm. He's from the Los Angeles area. A little bit of an underdog story to get to this point. Um, so I have no doubt that that Jorge Reyna is going to bounce back, though. Well, I'm sure once the team, you know, gets more comfortable, plays a few more games, you think they'll just kind of come together a little more. Well, it's an interesting time right now because you have this just crushing disappointment, right, that happens uh, on Saturday night. And now you have two weeks to think about it because oh, they don't no. play a game <laughs> next week. Uh. So they're, gonna, they're probably going to be beating up each other pretty good um, in practice. But this bye week, I think, will come at a good time for this football mm -hmm. team just to, to regroup, um, just kind of get your emotions under control and realize, hey, we're just two games into this season, and all yeah. the goals for this football team are still in front of them. Number one goal usually with this program is to win a conference championship. We haven't even gotten into the conference part of the season yet, so that is still right in front of them. There are a lot of things still yet to play for. Well, who do they play next? You said they got two weeks off, and then they'll have another game. Yeah, got another home game coming up on, on September 21st. Um, they play Sacramento State. It's a uh, lower division school. Um, it's a okay. game that the Bulldogs should win. But Sacramento State has actually been kind of competitive in, in a couple games this year. Uh, okay. they, they hung with Arizona State out of the Pac-12 in their last game out. So the Bulldogs will need to come ready to play, um, although I do think the Bulldogs will get a win. Then they'll be on the road for a little bit. They'll have another bye. And then that, uh, I believe, their first conference home game will be uh, in, in mid-October. So hopefully when they come back for that game in mid-October, we'll be talking about a team that's uh, near the top of the, the Mountain West. Yes, fingers crossed. Yes. I'm sure they'll get better and better. Let's well, hope so. On the NFL front, I know there's a lot of drama going on right now. <laughs> there is, of <laughs> course. Monday Night Football tonight. It's a rare yeah. doubleheader uh, of games, and we get our first chance to see the Raiders this year. Um, in, in regular season action, Antonio Brown, that whole saga that's been going on. It's going to be really interesting to see what Raider team shows up tonight against the Broncos um, and the psyche of Derek Carr as well. Of course, the former Bulldog who uh, is the signal caller for the Raiders. Um, I think this Antonio Brown saga has been kind of difficult on him because he was really excited when, when the Raiders brought him in. And so it'll be interesting to see how the Raiders and John Gruden look in, in year two under John Gruden. Absolutely. Well, thank you so you much. It. And hopefully the Fresno State will bounce back in the yeah. next few Hopefully next time we're talking, we're talking about a win, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs>